Welcome back, everyone. I've already put us in orbit around Eridani 1. And, uh, let's go ahead and scan. I have nothing here. It is a, uh, very hazardous environment being made up of chlorine and uranium. So, uh, <laughs> that's a thing. All right. So, yeah. This is the system we'll be exploring today. Iridani, level 20. And let's find Iridani 2, so... You know... I know I can just look at the rings to tell which one's which, since the first one's going to be closest and the second one's going to be furthest, so... Let's take a look at Iridani 2. Give it a good scan. And we have an abandoned weapon station which I'm pretty sure we've looked at before. Also a mining outpost. Let's just take a peek. Because I, I, I need to remember if it's an abandoned weapons outpost or if it's something else that we've already looked at. It's, it's, it's hard for me to remember all the places that we've been to. Take a look at. Hey, it's Valentine. God bless you, Valentine. Safe travels. Alright. Yep. It's the same place we've seen before, with the ship in the middle... Two buildings on either side. Nothing fancy to look at here. Alright, let's look at uh, three, which would be this planet. A lot of volatile elements in this location, in this system, because a lot of the planets have had uranium, iridium, argon, all this. I don't think argon's necessarily a bad one, I don't remember offhand, but. Nothing there. Nothing there. And nothing on this moon either. Okay, well. At a bust. I guess if you need a lot of... Uh, well, this one's got... Lorian stuff in it too, so that's interesting. Let's see. Four is going to be this planet. Argon and fluorite. Fluorine. Whatever it is. We have a barren moon. Another barren moon with a civilian outpost. We might actually check one of those out just to do so. It is a barren moon though, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's a barren moon. There's like no reason why you would build an outpost here. Why do they have an outpost here? So it's gonna be a generic outpost, I know. Uh, I think anyway. We'll see, maybe it's uh, an amazing place. I thought it was gonna be built in the crater for a second there, but uh... Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say, since we cannot see an obvious, big, interesting structure on the horizon here, 
it would take us way too long to walk. I mean, there is a little thing over there, you can barely see it in the background. That might just be a rock, too. There's that little antenna there, and then there's those buildings there, but I think those are just random structures that pop up uh, around the location. And then I don't see anything else that's man-made around the uh, horizon, so... Unless the outpost is, like, on the other side of that crater uh, that I just can't see. It's not big enough to even have a landing pad, so it's pointless to even try and explore it. Because it's just a generic thing, so we're not going to waste a lot of time on that. Um, so this was four. Let's check out five, if I can find it. There we go. Five, another civilian outpost. You know, see, I was expecting, since this one has, like, a little, like, igloo-like looking thing, this one's going to be a small one. But since the other one that I saw was a bigger one, I was like, oh, it'll be like a, a city type icon or something like that, right? But no, it's just, just that. All right, let's check out six, which is just this uh, lovely, lovely gas giant. And then we have a lovely little moon here. And then six is going to be this boy. Or not six, uh, seven. Check out this moon first. Ooh, it's got a... Ropium. You know what? Say what you will about this system. Iridani seems like it is... Probably... I think I've been to the autonomous dog star facility before. If you need resources, and you, you want to have, like, all of them condensed in a single system. You've got iron, nickel, copper, and cobalt here, uh, along with chlorine, which I can never use chlorine too much. Uh, then you have lead, aluminum, uranium, titanium, tungsten, and helium here. You got argon, neon, you've got silver, AG, uh, iridium, Vil, the V1, which I forget the name of. Uh, you got PU. Does this system have every single like resource almost? So let's check out this planet. This one's just nickel and nothing on it. It's a barren ice world. And the last one that we have not researched is this one, which is going to be a big old thing there. Look, we have benzene it looks like be over here we have lithium holy shit this is the best like system i've ever seen it has so many ne necessary resources cs which uh is acm which i've used in previous things i know for outposts so it looks like if, if you want to build an outpost probably one of the best ones to do it in would be this system um, because there's just so many different places. Of course, keep in mind, uh, in the beginning, you won't be able to build on every single planet because if it's an extreme condition, you won't have the necessary level in outpost engineering to be able to build on a, a hostile planet like that, right? But, damn, interesting. I think if I ever do need to build a... Uh, an outpost. I will come back here. Interesting. All right. Captain's Star. That's just a couple of these boys. So let's go ahead and set course. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're on the dark side, it looks like. Oh, what's this? An abandoned star station. Is my quest marker pointing towards it? Dock is the question. Doesn't look like it can. I don't have the, uh, prompt to do so. Can I destroy it? Nope. Oop, didn't mean to get up. 
Well, maybe that's for the best. I can store some stuff that I don't need here. Neurojack. Um, all of these notes. Do dig picks weigh anything? No. Okay, good. This frag grenade is accidentally picked up. The trucker wear. I'll store the Starborn space suit. And I'll store that mag shear that we had. That was extra. Perfect. Why not use the best of the good thing? So this really is just a abandoned star station that I can't really do anything with, huh? There's no quests for it, yeah? Hmm. Okay, well, let's scan the planet then. Ooh, this one's got... What is PT? Plutonium, is it? Platinum. I guess the other world... Other systems didn't have platinum, so it wasn't quite as lucrative. You might have to have a uh, an interplanetary transport ship take your platinum from this world to the other one, right? I don't even see the star system or the star uh, thing here. Well, I think this is just going to be a gas giant, isn't it? Yep. Neat. Well, that was that. Uh, system. Wow, it's taken a, a, 11 minutes to uh, search all of these, huh? See, as we uh, get further in, we'll be seeing that, oh, these places are all just uh, pretty much similar to you know, places we've been before. They just have these generic locations on them. There's no real reason to touch down on the planet and see it, because it's either going to be rocky or just much special, right? And who's to say, maybe, maybe I'm missing out on some really cool stuff by not touching down on the planets for myself and seeing, you know, everything that is, is, is happening on it, you know? So what if we go, what if we just touch down on Curie, huh? I, I'm gonna assume, named after a scientist, Mary Curie. Mary? Okay. We're not gonna get out, we're just gonna take a look around. It's a brownish white area. Yeah. I've been to uh, those locations, those point of interests before. It's essentially a uh, elevator that goes up to the top, and there's some like rooms at the top with spacers overran in that area. Yeah. Quiet. Peaceful. I don't know. I would, I would think something named Curie would be a little more interesting, but then there's Magnar. Arachna. Bode. Graham Faraday. Are these all scientists? I think... I know Faraday, I'm pretty sure, is a uh, scientist, right? If all of these are named after scientists, that's pretty cool. So we have Magnar. With uh, not a whole lot on it again. <laughs> and we have... I, I can't really tell what's what here. Let's let's go, like, do these four and then go around. So let's check out Bose. Bose is just an uninhabitable little land. Next we have... Gamo, which is nothing special. Also, pretty much barren, frozen, rocky land. And then down here we have Gas Giant Faraday, surrounded by uh, Ampere, Ohm. We have 
uh, Kolum. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but I tried. And we have Volt. Just some random outposts here. Our research Magnar. So let's go over to Fundament. It's, it's literally just a rock. It's a floating rock. It's an asteroid. We have uh, Nascent, which is a planet that doesn't have anything on it. We have another barren little moon of Rudiment with a deserted relay station. We haven't been to a relay station before. Let's check that out. Who's this then? Free Star Mule. Not interested. Ugh. Wasn't expecting to get through three systems today. Heck, we'll probably get through four systems seeing as how quickly we are. going through it. Okay. But we didn't land directly at the facility. So where is my abandoned relay station? This way. Helium and iron on this planet, huh? Right over there. I'm gonna scan this, uh... Iron, so I can get the survey data for this planet. Is that the... That's not the Little Dipper, is it? It looks like the star formation looks kind of similar, because there's like the, the four stars at the top. That make up like the the handle, like the pan thing, and then there's that the one that's like extending down to like here. You see, like the dipper thing. But wouldn't the little dipper, big dipper, next to each other? Maybe they're just not. Maybe I'm just imagining stuff. I don't know. Unless that's the little dipper, and that is the big dipper right there, where it has that. I don't know. Stars, man, how do they work? Never been much for astrology, so I don't know too much. Oh, this place. There's gonna be some uh, pirates or something here, isn't there? I assume this is the place that I'm thinking of. Is the place I'm thinking of? Did I have these huge bullpens? There's someone hostile in here. You run. What an incendiary grenade! Ouch. It got him down. And her and you. What's this? Anti-ballistic spacesuit. Not as good as mine currently. Ooh, now that! That's a fancy gun, I'll take that. Who's firing me now, oh, this guy? Coward. Why'd I reload? Can I personal Kraken? Don't care about that.
This place doesn't really have much good loot, so I'm not going to worry too much about it if I uh, Try that on me. Ah! don't get everything here. I'm not going to be as thorough as I have been in other places because this is the place I was thinking of that doesn't have really anything here of value. I mean, it's just a relay station, like it says. Okay, that's about it. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. So that takes care of this area. Let's head up to Bitsy, which is a rock. Arachna. Is Arachna a scientist? A research tower. I don't think we've... Have we looked at a research tower yet? I don't think we have. Let's take a gander at it, shall we? Maybe I should get a note going on here. Okay. Research tower. Explored locations. <laughs> Going forward, I'm gonna, anytime we land at a place, we take a look at a place, we will note down the exact text that it appears to be on the uh, document I just made. And that way... Oh, it's this location. Yeah. This is the same uh, prefabrication that we saw when we landed on uh, Curie, I think it was. And I said in the distance there was this uh, structure that like, has an elevator going up the middle and then some places around the sides. That's uh, all there is there. So yeah, we're not gonna explore this one because it's, it's, I've explored it like five times, I swear to God. Oop. Yeah, so much. Surveyed that. I surveyed this little one I have. The main planet here. Okay. What was this one called that we looked at? The Deserted Relay Station. Okay. Gonna note that down for reference. Alright, so that's all of these looking at. Let's go to Augur. And then Bode. And Harold. Nothing on any of them, huh? I think... Were, were all these worlds barren? Is Arachna barren? Yeah, Arachna's barren. There's no flora or fauna. Were all of them barren? Oh! Magnar's not barren. It has, uh... Flora and fauna. Water is safe. I guess that explains why there's a civilian outpost on it. Every other world appears to be barren. <clears throat> okay. Well. Shoot. Um. Why don't we go ahead and call this video here. I know it's only been like 25 minutes. But we have, after all, uh, done three systems. Right? And, uh... If we continue to look at them, the title is going to be crazy long because I've been putting the, the names of the systems in the title. So I think the title for this one's probably going to be uh, Iridani, Captains, and then Avonis Systems. So that's what we're going to do. Next time, we shall come up to here to Sirius and the Pup. We'll come by Luton Star. Maybe these... Auton A's, B's, whatever's. And then kind of continue making our way up through here. 
Once we land at alt here, we'll turn back down, go to the uh, Bernard Star, go to Soul, Alpha Centauri, and Tolman. Over here, all that good jazz. Anyway, that's what we're doing next time. Catch y'all then.